This is the game that has millions of kids addicted to it. Seriously? I guess this is where all the teens hide, when their mother catches them on next videos. Eh, true. But for real, kids these days need to go play outside for once. Welcome back to Dark vs. The World. This is the series where I discuss topics, videos, and other pieces of media in life which annoy the fuck out of me. Now this could be anything, from crappy reboots of TV shows that nobody really asked for, to the pure retardation of absolutely crappy modern road signs. It could be literally anything. But today, I'm going to touch on a topic that has been in my radar for quite a while now. I remember scrolling through YouTube one time and I saw this video and this game topic come up. Ladies and gentlemen, the infamy itself, the why the hell does this even exist? Ladies and gentlemen, it's Gacha Life. Or Gacha Life, I don't know how the hell you pronounce this game. Whatever it is, man, why does this exist? And why the hell does like over 50 million people have this game installed? From what I've seen, it's some kind of cute sea anime type game that you can create your own life and studio in. But apparently that's not what people really use it for. Now, I imagine quite a few of the people who do use the app, you know, are normal functioning members of society, and not like the psychos from Borderlands. But as you can imagine, this game has been taken over by a specific kind of people. The kind of people who I want to suck a punch in the face, drop kick, and tell them to suck it. It's basically just creepy kawaii videos, essentially that's what it is. This type of content really gives anime a bad rap. Because yeah, you know, it's not for everybody, not everybody can get anime. But it's not all what gacha life is. You know, there are certain subgenres of anime, it's a lot different. But oh my god though, this is just... This is just bad, folks. Just bad. I installed it so I could do a skit, and that's probably the only time I'm ever going to use that app. I mean, it took me two seconds to do everything. It's practically an insult to animation. There is so much good animation out there in the world that takes hours and maybe even years to produce. But no, this is still an animation that is somehow pulling millions and millions of views each time they're uploaded. And what kind of videos do these people spend all the time on apparently to earn millions and millions of views and tons of traction? Well... Yeah, they aren't good at all. They're just utterly and stupidly cringe. This is surprisingly more cringe than my old LEGO stop animations that I made when I was like 12 or 13. My voice was horrendous in that video. Shouldn't we help them? Nah. But yet the animation had more effort put into it. I can remember moving all the individual pieces of that Lego and having it move so that the background and animation made sense. No, this is just lazy. This is an insult to proper animation. I can guarantee that a lot of animators and artists find these kinds of videos absolutely disgusting and terrible. Because they are. And you want to know what's even funnier? This has happened so many times that when you get the game, it literally has to warn you and apologise because of how much inappropriate stuff has been made from the app. Keep in mind that this app is aimed primarily towards young children, and yet you've got really bad stuff like this. Oh god. Oh god no. Call Azia Argento in this bitch, we need to burn this down with holy water and slap a bible on it. Because I'm sure Satan himself shakes in his boots every single time he sees this. You can tell that this massive terms of service warning isn't really being thoroughly checked out by the kids. No, all they're gonna see is, Oh my god, this weird thing's blocking me from my cute anime game. I'm gonna press yes no matter what it says. Remember kids, don't be a fool. Read the rules, as Julia White Sonic would probably say in his Sonic Says shorts. But yeah, actually, now that I think about it, I'm gonna show you all of the clips from my old LEGO Stop Animation series, 
well, except for one of them. Keep in mind that my voice is absolutely terrible in these shorts, but I'd like to showcase them anyway because this is actually solid animation that took time. I can remember I was actually working on this series while I was in school. I was in the IT technician's room personally, and they were helping me make stop animation and other kinds of things. I really just don't get the appeal behind this app. If you're a huge anime fan, go watch anime. This is the side of anime that is stereotyped a ton. It's super weird, it's super gross, super creepy, and anybody who likes it is a nerdy moron who has no life. Well, that's not true at all. But unfortunately, this side of the internet gives anime a bad rap. So please, if you're going on YouTube, just avoid cringy Gacha Life videos. I'm sure there are some very nice creators out there who actually do, you know, decent content with the game. However, I'm pretty sure that 99% of the content that's actually on YouTube about Gacha Life is just pure rubbish. Anyways, this has been the Dark Author, finally talking out about Gacha Life, because I'm tired of the game getting so much attention, I mean... I put 7 hours once into a video on this channel, and I don't think it even has 400 views. And yet these people, these kids, can make crappy videos and they can get millions. It's kind of annoying, but still. I'm glad I could talk about it today. And if you found some enjoyment on this video, be sure to like, comment and subscribe if you're new, hit the bell so you can stay up to date with my latest videos, and share this video with your friends because I'm trying to get to 1000 subs. Alright, take care everybody.